Welcome back, everybody. At the end of the last episode, I was taking you guys through all the parts that I had prepared up until this point. I had mentioned that there's a few small details left to be taken care of, which includes some drilling, tapping, countersinking, and some minor assembly. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I got the driver's side in and it is a tight fit, but it looks like all my measurements did work out. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on behind the actual projectors and the daytime running lights. Because back there, there's a little more room. This is where right now I don't have any of the wiring sorted out, but I will have to sort of make things neat and tidy. And I'll show you guys that now. So that's what's sitting behind the actual projectors. As you can see, there's a bulb, there's the wiring, there's the ballast, there's everything else that's going on back there. And of course, like I said, I'm gonna to have to sort this out and make it neat and tidy back there so it's easy to service and it's pleasing to look at. So before I can clean up the wiring, I just gotta actually confirm that all of it works. And so I'm going to power up the PCB. I'm gonna run the power and ground in there right now. And I want to just confirm all the connections are solid. So I have the lens just sitting on top of the final product now. It's kind of loose. And one thing I've noticed is that after putting in all of this work on the inside of the headlights, the lens itself is looking a little worn, a little bit faded, maybe a little bit hazy. So the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna polish up the outside of this lens and I'm actually gonna repaint the inside of it, freshen up the look, and you'll really be able to see a lot clearer through the front and you'll be able to see all the hard work that went into this retrofit. So as you guys can see, I started off the headlight lens restoration by just masking off the inside portion of the headlight lens that I do not want to have painted. And I just using simple blue painter's tape. And then of course I used the hobby knife to trim out the pattern that you see on the front. And it was just really easy to actually shine uh, a light through the bottom side. And that showed me the pattern that I needed to cut out using the hobby knife. Next up, I'm gonna mask off the outside of the lens just as a precaution because I will be respraying the inside and I don't want to get any paint on the outside. All right, so after a few more minutes with the blue masking tape, the newspaper and the hobby knife, I have the top side of the lens is now covered 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip these over. I'm gonna give the bottom side a really thorough cleaning with some rubbing alcohol because this is the side that's of course gonna be painted. And then I'm gonna be using black spray paint that is meant for plastics on these lenses because of course they are plastic. Best part of painting. So it looks pretty good. There's no other areas of the lens where light is able to shine through now, now that we've painted the bottom side. However, the top side is still looking a little bit hazy and it looks like it could use a little bit of work. So let's go polish this up. In order to restore the outside of the headlight lenses, I'm gonna be using this Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restoration Kit. These particular lenses are made from polycarbonate, which is the same material as your normal headlight lenses would be made from. So this kit should work great. I'm gonna try it on this one lens here, see how it works out. Hopefully it will remove a lot of the small scratches and that slight amount of hazing on these lenses. So let's see how this thing turns out. Now that the lenses have been restored, I want to prevent any further rubbing of the bottom of the lens on these metal clips that hold the lens into place. And I'm going to do that by using these little rubber washers that I picked up. I'm just going to epoxy them to the top of the metal clip. It's going to space the lens out probably about, I don't know, a millimeter, millimeter and a half. And that's not such a big deal because I can adjust the height of these buckets. So the lens will still sit nice and flush with the bodywork but it will prevent the lens from rubbing and any of the paint from coming off on the bottom and so the lens will look brand new all the time. So let's test out those daytime running lights one more time. I just want to reiterate that this sequencing only happens when the car first turns on so you won't get this effect as you're driving down the road to distract other drivers. If you guys want to learn how to create this circuit yourself, I do have another video up for that. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description below. Check that video out as well. So the last thing to test is the function of the headlight itself. So as you can see, I'm turning those on now. It seems to work, so we are ready to aim these things. So after aiming the lights at night, I achieved some great results. I'll throw up the output picture right here. And as you can see, I got a nice sharp cutoff pattern with these projectors. They seem to be great quality. And then from there, coming back to the bracket here, I was able to mark off with a Sharpie just some locations where I can drill and tap some really small set screws. And these will prevent the projector from rotating in case the nut on the back comes loose. 
and then of course messing up my cutoff line. Now that the set screw is in place, I can install these back in the car for the very last time and then just confirm that the alignment hasn't moved at all. All right, so now that the projectors can no longer rotate and they're locked in, I put the assembly back into the housing. As you can see in the back, I've cleaned up the wiring as well. Just used some cable ties to tie everything down and keep things neat and tidy back there. I also took the PCB box, put the lid on, sealed that shut so no water should be able to get in. And we're pretty much ready to aim these things one final time, make any minor adjustments that might be necessary. And then we can pop the lenses on and see how it looks. And so we've come to the end and the final thing to do here is to put the headlight lenses back on and fasten them down, which I'm going to do right now. Now the original kit came with black oxide screws for all the way around the lens. And of course these blend in with the black paint really nicely, but over time they would rust. And so I went out and I bought myself some stainless hardware. Now it stands out a little bit over the black paint, but I actually kind of like the look and you'll see what it looks like at the end. Couldn't be happier with the way these things turned out. I really appreciate you guys watching this build. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to catch my next project.